welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel today we'll be looking at excretion in humans excretion is the removal or elimination of metabolic wastes from uh, an organism so when we talk about metabolic we're talking about uh, breaking down the processes which occur in the organisms because we are talking about humans so we're talking about the processes which occur in human body wastes include uh, carbon dioxide water bile pigment urea and this mineral salts not metabolism is a chemical reaction skin reaction that takes place within every cell of the body it means that those chemical reactions which occur in the human body is what we call metabolism. So there is a major difference between uh, metabolic wastes and then the digestive wastes. So egestion is the removal of undigested food, uh, solid wastes from digestive tract. So in most cases, people confuse what is excretion and what is uh, egestion. But egestion is the removal of undigested material from the digestive system, while the uh, excretion is the removal of metabolic reaction, metabolic wastes from uh, the body. What are some of the excretory organs in, in our body? Lungs, skin, liver, colon, and kidney. So in this case, you don't see a digestive the digestive system as a whole however you have you have some parts of the digestive system like a colon so carbon dioxide is a, an extra product because when you break down glucose to produce energy carbon dioxide is being produced uh, carbon dioxide becomes a, an extra waste that's why you are saying that its source is cell respiration then you have uh, skin uh, mineral salts it excretes mineral salts and traces of ammonia. That's why uh, when you test your sweat, it is, it is salty. Why? Because of the salts which are being removed from there. Then urea, uh, this one makes you to smell. Why? If you don't bath, it's as a result of urea, uh, which is being released. So basically it's excreted from the blood. And then you have the liver. Here you have the urea and the bile pigment. Uh, urea is um, as a result of the deamination. When we talk about deamination, we're talking about D removal, amination, amino group. So it means that it was a protein, but you remove the, the amino group, that part which makes to be a protein. Now it is being converted into another substance, which is urea in this case. So it means that we don't store excess uh, proteins in our body. So the excess proteins are being deaminated means that we remove that uh, amino group and then it becomes urea. Then this is as a result of bile pigment. It's as a result of a breakdown of hemoglobin. Remember hemoglobin is the um, one of uh, a very important compound which makes up uh, the red blood cells. It's the one which makes our blood to look red. It's as a result of hemoglobin. Then you have uh, what we call the bile pigment and excess mineral salts. Bile pigment um, and excess mineral salts come from the breakdown of hemoglobin in the liver. We have seen it here that bile pigment is as a result of breakdown of uh, hemoglobin in the liver. But uh, it can be excreted uh, on, through the colon or through the liver. Then you have the kidney. Kidney excretes uh, three major major things: urea, mineral salts, and water. So this makes the composition of urine. We saw that urea is as a result of the deamination of excess amino acids in the liver, it means the removal of the amino group uh, from a protein. Then mineral salts; these are salts which are known uh, like if the body has too much salts, too concentrated, then it means that uh, excess salts are being removed from the body. Then you have um, excess water uh, which is being consumed, like you have taken a lot of water in the body, it means that excess of it is being removed from the body. How do I know that I have a lot of water in the body or I don't have a lot of, uh, or I don't have a lot of water in the body? If you look at the kind of urine you need, 
uh, you'll find out that sometimes it's like colorless, sometimes it's yellowish, um, or you see that it has a different color. So if it has a different color, it means that you don't have enough aura in the body. So more aura is being reabsorbed back into the body. But if it is colorless, it means that you have too much aura in the body. Therefore, there is no need for, for this body to keep this aura. So it's supposed to be excreted as uh, urine. So basically, uh, these are some of the organs which you need to know which excrete. These are the excretory organs in our body. So what is the urinary system? Let's look at uh, the urinary system, the system which bring about the urine. So urinary system, sometimes also known as renal system. When you talk about renal, you're talking about things which are related to the kidney by filtering uh, wastes and extra water from the blood. It means that the wastes are put, uh, they remain in the urine and then extra water from the blood is also, uh, it means that urine is made up of wastes and extra water from blood. Then you're saying that uh, urine travels from the kidneys through two thin tubes called uh, ureters and fill the bladder. Uh, there is a major um, difference between ureta and urethra. Uh, students confuse urethra and ureta. Urethra is that part of uh, from the bladder to out of the environment, meaning that outside. When you're urinating, that part which uh, connects um, the bladder and the outside environment is what called the urethra, and also used for transportation of sperms. While urethra is from the bladder to the kidney, so we're gonna look at it. So, what are some of the major functions of uh, urinary system? Number one, osmoregulation. Osmo, we are talking about water and then regulation, controlling the amount of water in the body. So we are saying that regulation of water levels here in the body. Uh, basically, you, you will find out that the, 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 the water is too concentrated, the blood is too concentrated or is less uh, concentrated. So it depends on the amount of water in the body. Then number two, uh, you have excretion, is removal of nitrogenous wastes. Uh, we saw them, for example, urea. Uh, not only nitrogenous wastes, basically, uh, but even other wastes are from metabolism. So we saw that. And then you have a regulation of pH, the potential of hydrogen, how acidic uh, the, 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 the fluid is, or how uh, alkaline the fluid is. So it depends on how many hydrogen uh, are present, the potential of hydrogen, that's what you call the, uh, the pH. And then lastly, regulation of salts, uh, how much source uh, is the body fluids having? Is it too concentrated or is less uh, concentrated? So these are the major functions of the urinary system, small regulation, excretion, regulation of pH, and then salt uh, and regulation of uh, salt. So this is how the, 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 the kidney is uh, located. You have two kinds of kidneys. One is down and then another is a little bit up. So this, the, the, the tubes which join the kidney the bladder is what's called the ureter. This is what I was talking about. Well, the kidney which joins the, which connects the bladder and the outside environment is what's called the urethra. That uh, these ones are what you call the urethra, or these ones are what you call the ureter. So we are saying that the kidneys are bean shaped. So you have seen it that it's like a bean. If you look at it here, you find out that it's like a bean. Basically, if you cut this part, you, you think that's a bean. They are bean shaped, found halfway down the back, just under the rib cage. So um, it's not in front, it's at the back, just behind, uh, just below the rib cage. Then you're saying that uh, they are protected by adipose tissue. These ones are fat, just very important for protection and give um, energy if, uh, for example, someone has starved. Each kidney is covered by a renal capsule, which protects the kidney and its internal structure from infection. So the capsule is very important. It's like the outside layer of the kidney. Adipose tissue is not the outside layer. No, it's, it's, this is just an extra fat, which is being added on the kidney. So basically it is, it's, it's, it's not a part of a, a kidney, just a surrounding layer 
uh, of fats. Then you have oxygenated blood with a waste product. With waste product is by the renal artery. It means that uh, the oxygenated blood, the one which comes um, from the heart, it has a lot of waste. So these wastes are supposed to be removed. That's why they are being brought by renal artery. The artery. Remember, artery is a blood vessel which takes away blood from the heart to other parts of the body. So it takes this blood to the kidney, but it has the waste. It has collected the waste from all other parts of the body. Which branches of uh, the iota? This is what I'm trying to say. Then they're saying that um, iota is the major blood vessel uh, in, in, in the body. It's the major blood vessel in the body. So it comes from the heart. So the deoxygenated blood with the waste, with the waste product removed. So the, 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 when this oxygenated blood reaches the kidney, the waste products are being removed. So it leaves the kidney through the renal vein. Remember, a, a vein is that blood vessel which takes blood to the heart. So it brings back blood to the heart. So it takes this blood back to the heart, which is a little bit clean compared to the one which uh, was coming with the renal artery. So why? Because now the waste have been removed. So now the blood is, 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 is clean. This cleanliness is being done inside the what? The kidney. So this here is a structure of the kidney. Uh, here you have the outside part, the renal capsule. Uh, the capsule is here. So the adipose tissue is this outside layer, which tries to have some fats, like then this is the renal artery, which brings blood into the, the kidney. And then the renal vein takes away blood from the kidney. You'll find, out that, um, you'll find out that the function unit of the kidney is found in this uh, area, in this area. So uh, basically once it, it is being purified, then it's being collected and then brought back to the pelvis where, where, where this urine is being collected and then then the ureter, then the bladder, then the urethra, then outside of the body. The structure and the functional um, unit of the kidney. Here we are talking about the nephron.